Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Tupo Pila. Welcome and welcome back. As you can see by today's title, we're doing a never have I ever. Is it a challenge? Never have I ever tag, whatever you call it. Never have I ever. So I got these questions off from Google. Um, I try to get the most interesting, juiciest questions for you guys. So yeah, let's get started. So what's going to happen is if I have done whatever, I'm going to take a sip of this. This is a... Yeah, no, it's not a, it's not a cocktail shame. It doesn't even have cucumbers or mint leaves. This is a, this is, well, there's um, two shots of vodka in here. And then, because I don't have orange juice or cranberry juice, what did your girl do? A bamboo maca plum. No, 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 no. A kutiwa. A bur maca plum. And a bamboo mug that clar. Yes, no, and don't babe. Yes, and then don't babe mug that clar. Anyway, so, and then I put oros, or oros maniki, the orange one. Yes. Oh, how strong and the you put the thing is strong. You thank God I don't think I'll be sleep, uh, sleeping a lot. But let me just keep it here because I don't keep doing this now. For sure. So yeah, let's get started. I wrote them down, yes, so I'll keep looking down. Never have I ever got home with a guy from the club. Which home, guys? Guys, I, I, I live with my parents. If not my parents, I live with my sister and my daughter. And the Tora, how many guys? And then Tora, how many? No. I don't think I'm that girl, even. Even if I go to her, life is too short. Can never be me. Next, never have I ever kissed a guy 10 years older than me. No. Uh, never have I ever slept with an ex. No. No, why are you going back? That's toxic. Like as in muyeta completely, and then I'll be taking when we go back to sleep together. Uh, never have I had a had a crush on my first boyfriend. Which one is the first boyfriend? Is the first boyfriend your primary school boyfriend? Because if it's my primary school boyfriend, yeah, then I had a crush on him, huh? but like we never even hugged. No, we hugged towards the end of the year. My gosh, that was the most intimate with me, with my grade, my grade 7 brother. So I have, oh, I had a crush on him. But right now, if, yeah, no, I had a crush on him. Never have I ever kissed a girl. Mm, no. Like, kissed a girl, how, like, my mom, no, I've never kissed my mom, but I've kissed an aunt. You know, and I know when you have booty aunts, Ungini no opuri to wa kokanu. <laughs> no, no, I haven't. Okay, never have I ever spy through my man's phone. Why not, honey? It's my man, I must. Never have I ever stopped my ex online. I was just making sure I'm happier than him. Never have I ever woken up and promised not to drink again after a heavy night. Oh, all day, every day. The thing is, guys, ah. Huh? I'm very light and sensitive. Like even if, like, like just the simplest of things, like even Coke, a can of Coke. If I want to stay up all night studying, I drink a can of Coke and I'll be up the whole night. So I can't even finish a Kahanta's gold. Like, okay, 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 I can't. So I'm very sensitive. So once I tried finishing, I think was it was two, no, it was three, Hunter's gold um, bottles and it didn't, it did not end well at all. I always end up puking and just headache on headache. Yeah, no. Ugh. Every day I regret. So, yeah. But you have to do it for the squad when you're with your other people. You must you not drink when the people are drinking? Who start you to drink the water? You know? But also, life is too short. For me, life is too short at least. I never have I ever begged a guy not to leave me. Oof. No, I think I just asked, are you sure? Because you're gonna miss all this Ndonga butter. 
<laughs> Never have I ever skinny dip. No, me I'm black. Okay, no, other black kids do these things. Or just so me I get just growing up. Muri kepa kapuma ko mea me me water kama gujo toso mea me hagan dani na that's not how I play with the water skin is deep in my life o zurungu jumping in a pool never forever can never be me never have I ever made an explicit adult video with a person intimately privately never have I ever done a sex tape no never have I ever had thoughts of killing someone in flesh of anger. This one time, eh? let me tell you now. Let me just quickly have like a story time. So this one time, my mom sent me to the mall to go to three different banks and then to go to the, to an actual like shop, me eh? grocery shop. So um, these three banks, I think I was depositing money, yes, and then now. Uh, yeah. So I get to this mall. If you guys know um, Commerce Grove, me eh? where there's Burman Hyper. So I get that now when you park, when you get to a, a parking lot that is like this, you know. So if uh, the now the oh guys, it was packed outside is packed, inside is packed, everywhere is packed. So it was just cars and people all over. So now when I got there, there's this car that's reversing to come out, but no cars are giving it the chance to come out. So I stop to give it a chance to come out so that me I go where they are coming from in that car space. So I'm there indicating hot babes that time I'm driving my mom's Jetta Hesse on Dangwa number plate. I thought I was hot. So I'm the, the guy reverses, then he goes, then he says thank you. You know how drivers say thank you? <laughs> Fine. Then me, I thought that, that was my space because me, I was very generous enough to wait for the guy to come out and then me to go in. You know? I am. Because he came at the woman, he had a guy. Okay, I had a pruku to pruku to push in the parking that I wanted to go into. Okay, fine. So, me, I'm behind him, the drug worker has a die, wait for him to come out, and then rolling her down the window. And I'm asking him, Oh, can't you see that I was gonna go there? And he's like, mm, I never, I didn't find anyone here. And guy, ah, this guy, this guy is serious. The moment the guy checked the back of the hotel, then he went inside. I was just like, Today you will learn. So this guy goes in now. Uh, what did Nick Popiaka do? I pat Mama Takoke, making sure that when he comes and he wants to leave, he will not leave because he will learn. And me, I know from my house, I was sent to the mall and I'm going to take 97 years to come out. He will learn if he's, if he's going somewhere in the era, He will. Oh, eh, mm, I was, I was so, guys, I was so mad at this man. Big men doing that to a small girl. Okay. So me, I park the car nicely, making sure now also I'm not obstructing the traffic most behind um, the car I'm in. Fine. So I go in that day, I, I, I was now sent into F&B, Ben Bantuk, and Standard Bank, and then I will leave that man. So I go first in F&B. But I know also when I'm there, I'm going to get a bit shit. What if this guy calls in like the towing truck or something, and then you just find the how to towing something, you know? I am fine. Home girl is there and girl also chills just like I am man oh but me also God is my bra, you know, you will not leave me like that. You don't do me bad like that. So I'm there waiting in line or whatever. I finish depositing. Then I quickly come down because F and B is up, ne? I quickly come down to go check out if the guy is still there. Ha, the guy is still there. I think the guy the man was also not done doing his thing. So I went back up, I went into Standard Bank. Finished up in Standard Bank, then I came down again. When I came down, I found him there with um two police ladies. Now, if you know that more, you know there's like a, a Kayang police station there. So I think he went to go call two police ladies there to come explain his situation or whatever. And then I find them there. And then me, you know what? I was just like, you know what? You are cool, man. You don't panic. Because I see now the people in uniform, the people in uniform. Shh. Yo, they scare the shit out of me, you guys. So we are there. Yo, I'm cursing a lot in this video. I think it's the third time I'm saying shit. Yo. Anyway, so yeah, I, I'm there, and then then you get chim chim kokarimota, which I think I went to go. I, I forgot like a paper inside or something. So ching ching, then I got a receipt. Maybe that was my what my mother got from a shop maybe a week ago or something. And I closed. Then I went. He's like, oh, are you not moving? I'm like, no, you are in my parking. Had you not gone in my parking uh, spot? I, 
and though we don't have these kinds of problems, I just came to get something that I forgot, so I'm going back inside now. And then this lady's like, yeah, the police lady, I'm just like, yes, get out of here. And she's like, yes, get out of here. And she's like, yes, get out of here. And she's like, yes, get out of here. But anyway, so that time, the, the time at the beginning, nay, when this man went into my parking guys on the hour, so angry, and then I was just like, like they just, I was so angry, so yes, I had thoughts of killing him, but God forgive me, please, I never want to be that person ever in my life again, even if someone makes me that angry, Lord Jesus. Never have I ever had any sexual fantasies my relatives. No. No. Ew. Never have ever tried to send a celebrity a DM. Guys, why not, honey? The things I'm feeling is my data. I sent Betty David a DM all day, every day. Yeah, some of you now come in the comments and say, she's your friend, she's your mom. I can send her a DM now. The question is, she's a celebrity. I can send her a DM. Never have I ever mistakenly bit someone while trying to give a kiss. No, I don't even like those things that come out. You bite a little when you're... Ugh, no, you. Um, never ever kissed a guy older than 45. No, no, thank you. That's my mom's age. So that's my dad. No. Never ever been rejected by a guy. No. The guy I'm dating now didn't reject me. <laughs> never ever ever crushed on my friend's boyfriend i think that this question is funny because crush on him like then father like oh my gosh i want him for myself no i didn't do that but like i was happy for my friend like oh my gosh so happy for your friend i'd want i'd like a boyfriend like that for myself and i got a boyfriend at that time i was single like me you know but like i don't want him want him like then father, no? never have i ever done it in public <laughs> I did it in a bathroom and that's it. Never have I ever betrayed my close friend. I don't think so. If I have, please hit me up so we talk about it, friend. I'm sorry, but I don't think so. Never have I ever beat my toenail with my teeth. No, that is disgusting. I can't even bite my fingernails with my teeth. Never have I ever fallen in love with a fuck boy. No, never ever. Never have I ever been a side chick. No, never have I ever cancelled a date with a friend just to stay home. Yeah, boy, yes. Oh, that was a big goose. Never have I ever uh, had a walk of shame. No, I don't do that because, like, I have a, an actual boyfriend. So if I sleep over and I go home, I also don't go home in the morning and the men can tell them why and this play or Nivea for men. No, because uh, my Nivea for women is there already. <laughs> Never have I ever turned down a job because it wasn't paying well. Oh, I have shame you, her. Yeah, no. I have a story for another day. Never have I ever dated a guy younger than me. No. No. I don't think it should be. No, I, I think it's. I find it fun. If, um, I find it. I find it. What's the word? I find it fascinating when people actually do that. Like when a girl, when a lady is older than the guy. Because I'm just like, wow. That is. It's rare. So I'm always. Yeah, shook. Okay, never have I ever uh, done number two in public. Why not? Guys, get what I to the itokanya. And the toilet is there. And the toilet is cleaner. Okay, public. Okay, well, it depends on Ghana. But like, for example, if I'm at a mall, I'll go help myself, guys. The toilet paper is there. The toilet itself is clean. Why not? I must just be there. Who, what, what if we need it? Get away, what are you going to do? Um, never have I ever tried to see how many marshmallows can fit in my mouth. <laughs> no, it's marshmallows. The tiny ones are like, ah, yeah, no. 
I don't even think I'm about to do that. I can taste all that sweetness. No. I never ever ever felt lonely. Yes, I, I felt lonely. I forgot to drink it. Remember doing public meal? Your hearts are big gums. Uh, yes, I felt only. I felt only once when my child went for. She went to, to visit my aunt in Valpes. She was there for like two months. Oh, I wasn't lonely, lonely as they say. Like I was with my boyfriend and my sister. But like, you find those days and you're just like, girl. But yeah, never have I ever made my way out through the window. Not as a grown person, but like. I think when I was five or something or whatever. Well, growing up, my my dad was just like, "Inam we ako magum, but stay home. You are two. You play together with my sister and I, two years apart. So you are two. You are enough. You play together. But like we always wanted was like another person and like you get tired of your sister. Maybe I don't know. So I always wanted someone else. <laughs> Darling, what well, my friend is looking at me. I always wanted more someone else to play with. So my sister and I, what would happen is, my dad has a routine, right? So he'll go out every morning. When he goes out in the morning, he'll go out through the window to the play. And then when it's lunchtime, when it's that time, he'll come back in the house through the window again. Then he'll go again, once then he'll come out again through the window. And then we'll only come back again for that hour. But this time around, this day, my dear, I don't know whether he forgot something, so he went after lunch. Then he came back like five minutes later. Car, we that day ne, we were out. Then he said, "And there, he went to go look for us. And there, to pick it from a pick. We were in Egypt. Darling, why never forget that day in my life? Because that day, my dad had like people. I think his workers. He had people konima e koto. Oh, guys, it was so embarrassing. So pick it up again. The car, we can't find us the first day. And then another day again, put the pizza back in there, but my sister got stuck. But that day, yeah, my dad wasn't around, but like, now the, the, the cousin of ours we used to go play with came then to rescue her, my sister, because her head all of a sudden couldn't fit, but like yesterday it could fit, I don't know. Next, never have I ever had a bad allergic reaction. Yes, I have. I'm drinking in So, a bit of a piece. So I have I'm allergic to mangoes, so yes. And I crave for them sometimes, so it, I just know I'm going to have a bad reaction. So I've had that before. Never have I peed myself, guys. I just peed myself yesterday. Not yesterday, yesterday, but like I peed myself in January in the bed. But I thought it was my daughter and I come, it's me who peed. <laughs> in my defense. If I depends, I was dreaming, I was peeing, like I was on the pot this time and then it just happened. Darling, oh my gosh. Never have I ever dated someone for their money? No. Never have I ever dated someone double my age? No. Never have I ever gone somewhere without brushing my teeth? It's my mouth and shape. It's okay. Two last bonus questions, guys. Never have I ever... Never have I ever had a threesome. No. Hygiene, guys. Now when? Threesome is it two, two guys and a girl? Or is it two guys and a guy? And, and a girl? Wait, is it fifty? No, I don't even know, so no. And then the last one. Never have I ever taken it in the behind. I just feel like the anus is made for the poop to come out and not for something else to go in and eat. Apparently these days it even goes in the mouth, but <laughs> you know what guys? <laughs> I'm getting deep here. So if you watch this far, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for taking time to watch my video. Thank you so much if you've subscribed. Thank you. If you've liked, thank you. If you always leave a comment, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. I'm really really grateful. If you haven't subscribed, please take time and subscribe. Put on the notification bell. Leave a comment. If you'd like me to film anything specific, tell me. 
and yeah until next time love and light Mwah.